Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks. So I will decide a make a new series of deep learning with Python and TensorFlow with Crash. So now I will make a introductory part of this tutorial. So so mainly I will try to make a series of this playlist and try to discuss all of these basic things with deep learning and I also try to make any person who don't know the deep learning and Python and other machine learning. So I will try to start from basic and uh, after all when you serially show all of my tutorials I hope you understand to all of this deep learning and machine learning. So today this is our introductory tutorial. So in this tutorial I will try to introduction of this deep learning and first of all we need to know what is the artificial neural network. So mainly artificial neural network are class of supervised machine learning. We already know that there are the two types of machine learning are available supervised and unsupervised machine learning. So in this case artificial neural network are a class of supervised machine learning algorithm that are based on our biological concept of how neurons are connected in our brain. Okay, So this neuron are usually organized into interconnected layer with input layer one output layer and also have some more hidden layer between and each layer consists of a set of units okay so this is the main theme of artificial neural network it is the supervised machine learning and it also based on our biological concept brain so we already know that our brain has a neuron and this neuron has some parts the dendrites then axon cell body and uh, and this is the also work with our machine uh, this is our the similarity with our brain so it calls the neural network so it's work with the machine so we can say that it's the artificial neural network okay so then this is the another topics this is the perceptron so it's very important so perceptron what is the perceptron so perceptron is that the neural network we can say that it's a single neural network so it's a single neural network like our biological neuron in our brain okay which have dendrites and axon the single layer neuron is a simple tree structure which has the input nodes uh, and a single output node which is connected to its input node here's a visual uh, comparison okay so you can see here this is our the brain biological neural and as well as you can also see the artificial neural network so mainly mainly our neurons our biological neurons take the input from the dendrite cell body and we can get the output from this action okay as well as in our the artificial uh, neural network uh, we can see here that we can get the sum of input you can see here this is the x1 x2 x3 and xn input so n dimension input in available here so you can see here there is the input then we can get the sum of the equation uh, then we can also uh, use here the different types of activation function relu function and then we can get the output of this function okay so this is the same with our biological neuron uh, with the artificial neuron network but perceptron is mainly work for the only one or single layer neuron okay so when you need to the more input then we all will we will move to the multi-layer perceptron so now we will discuss about the multi-layer perceptron so networks of perceptron are multi-layer perceptron and this is what is tutorial i will implement python with help of the class okay and multi-layer perceptron are also known as the fit forward neural network as you short guessed now by now these are the more complex network than the perceptron because perceptron is only for one layer but 
in this case multi layer perceptron you can see here the uh, lot of perceptron layer okay so the number of layer is usually limited to or three but theoretically there is no limit okay so you can use the huge number of input in this case so now you can see here the typical model of this uh, network so first suppose you can get here the some input so this input may be may be text then it will be image or uh, or other information okay this is the input layer and it has also some uh, hidden layer and it, this hidden layer is internally processing with the neuron that all that are all interconnected and we can get the finally the output layer and processing producing and presenting the neural output okay so so now artificial neural network consists of three parts the main part first of all we need a input it this input layer this work is that only for the received information from the text image and single etc okay so you can get the input layer for the you are receiving the information and second is the hidden layer it internally processing the neuron that are all interconnected okay so then output layer it producing and presenting the network output okay so this is the main introductory part of our course so basically i will try to use here the python programming language for this as well as we can also use here the tensorflow and cross and mainly in this case i will not use the jupyter notebook or other python uh, ide so mainly we heard in this case i used here the the collab okay so i hope you already know that the collab so you can simply use this collab because when you use this collab we don't need to use any install our module okay so here the already all of this module is set up so now you can easily import all of this module and work easily with this collab so suppose if you want to use here the tensorflow just you can simply use here the import function then use here the tensor tensor flow as tf and click to run you can simply click to here it will be run or you can simply click your keyboard control and enter this will be run so you can see here this tensor flow modules is already install it in under the collab but when you use the jupyter notebook or other ide then we need to install this uh, module tensorflow then we can use here but in this case this tensorflow is already installed in collab so it's very easy to use so now if if you want to check this tensorflow version you can simply take the another code code uh, spacing so you can simply use here the print function and then you can use here the tf because here i rename this as tf then simply use here the version version and run this code okay you can simply click to here this code will be running so i click here so now you can see it will be work and you can see this tensorflow version is 2.50 so this is the 2.50 version tensorflow and uh, and next tutorial i will try to show you how you can easily import your data set as well as how you can easily import your data set from the keras and other data set and how you can apply these different types of deep learning just uh, cnn or an and all of this deep learning and machine learning i also try to discuss practically so that you can easily understand so that's why you can uh, subscribe my youtube channel and uh, and keep in touch with my youtube channel so that you can easily get all of this tutorial and you can also join in my telegram whatsapp and uh, and whatsapp group so that i will share with my course material or code in my group so that you can easily access all of this okay so thank you for watching this video okay bye